and I'm here today on this video to show you the new JavaScript API that we put together which allows you to control the Storm Pulse map using JavaScript uh, on your own website. So what I'm going to do first is just do a simple example. Uh, the first thing we need to do in this JavaScript window I have down here, uh, you can see the commands. The first thing I need to do is get a map. So I'm going to do var map equals new sp dot map and pass in Storm Pulse which is the name of the div that gets as a map and then I'm going to add a marker. So we're going to do var marker equals new sp marker pass in a latitude and longitude which in this case is going to be 29.7 latitude and negative 99.1 longitude and we can also give it a name we can pass in several options here I'm going to pass in a name of uh, office headquarters now we have our marker and I'm going to do map .add overlay marker and you see on the map here it put office headquarters so now I can see where storms are in relation to my office and what we can also do is we can use the API to control layers in the map so in this case the map loaded automatically without radar but once the map loads I can do map.showradar and this will turn radar on so if we want to show radar automatically we can do that um, we can also turn off if for some reason we wanted to hide severe weather we can hide the severe weather if you click the office headquarters you see it says office HQ but I can also add uh, address information and a link in case there's extra information that you can get um, somewhere else in the web for that location alright I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you're interested send us an email contact at stormpulse.com thanks